I know you are uh, in the Boise area um, and have your pulse on what's happening there directly. So uh, how are you, sir? I am well. Thanks for having me on again, Matt. Great. Um, you've you've written recently and, and extensively on the influence of IACI, which is the um, help me out here, the Idaho Association um, of Commerce and Industry. Commerce and Industry, right? And uh, and their 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 powerful influence with uh, certain with a large swath of of legislators and lobbyists who are there in the uh, in the Capitol, and. Um, I, I think it's why I think it'd be it, it behooves everyone watching who may not know it, to the extent of the arm of this organization and and what their influence uh, means for um, the good people of Idaho. So um, can you dive us uh, you know into this a little bit? Sure. Um, so I've been at the Capitol the first two days uh, being here in the Treasure Valley. It's a uh, it's a privilege to be able to get down there. Um, in my home office today, there was quite a bit of snow on the ground, so I decided to wait till the afternoon. But while I was there, uh, especially here in the first couple days, as things are being introduced and the lawmakers have all come back from across the state, there's a lot of people in there with their little green name tags, identifying them as lobbyists. And, and they're all over. And everyone has an agenda. Everyone has a different interest. And a lot of those interests are in the business community. And if you look at the Sunshine website, sunshine.sos.idaho.gov, uh, you can see campaign contributions uh, to candidates and PACs and businesses, or in some cases, nonprofit organizations like hospitals and other, you know, other organizations, they move a tremendous amount of money around. They're moving thousands, tens of thousands even of dollars. Uh, and, and the reason is because they want favorable legislation. Maybe they want to keep regulations from affecting them, or they want certain regulations that will help them. Maybe they want uh, actual taxpayer subsidies, as in the case of the launch grant, where graduating seniors can get uh, $8,000 each to go to a college or a trade school for or a um, workforce development for in-demand careers. And of course, the in-demand careers are decided by a board that is put together by the governor made up of business leaders and um, and legislators and other people who are involved. Uh, IACI is the Idaho Association of Commerce and Industry, and they represent a lot of these businesses. Um, I don't think their member list is actually public. However, if you go to their website, you can see their board of directors. It's a very large board of directors, and they're made up of representatives from a lot of these uh, big corporations. So, uh, yeah, so, so there is a lot of influence there. Um, and it's kind of, yeah, a we, we just yeah. had, uh, yeah, we just had the sunshine report up there. Uh, guys throw that back up there again. Uh, if, if you have not been to this website, um, it's very, very informative and very easy to navigate. Now it doesn't go back, you know, decades or anything, uh, because most of this stuff is, is only recently been, been tracked uh, digitally like this, but, um, but you can type in a candidate, you can type in a pack, you can type in donors and, and just track to see where, where this money is going. Um, and it does show individual donors, um, regular citizens, as well as corporations. And, and like I said, PACs and, and, and all that stuff, but, um, how frequent, uh, does this thing get updated and, and, and how, how well is, is the tracking in your estimation, uh, Brian? Well, it's, uh, it's updated. It depends. If a candidate or PAC receives a thousand dollars or more, they have to report it immediately. Otherwise it gets reported once a month. Uh, so you'll see, you know, there's people are posting their um, uh, annual reports, their monthly reports, uh, but also there's timed contribution reports. And that's if they get the, the $1,000. Uh, however, there's, um, you know, th there's a lot more money out there. Uh, if if it's going to a 501c3 or a 501c4 that doesn't do electioneering, it doesn't get reported. And I'm not necessarily saying that uh, it all should be reported. It's just this information's here. And I think it's important for people to see the picture of what's going on. Um and I, I don't want to necessarily come across as anti-business. Uh, I wrote in my piece that's uh, both on Gem State Substack and also it was republished on the Kootenai Journal recently about uh, Iaki's influence and not necessarily just Iaki, but the business community's influence as a whole. I wrote how Republicans have always been supportive of business. We, we love free enterprise. We love small businesses. That's what makes our country work. Uh, you go back to Calvin Coolidge. He said the business of America is business. And, you know, Ronald Reagan promoted uh, private business as a, you know, the alternative to government intervention and central planning. Uh, and so, so we like the idea of free enterprise and capitalism. 
but businesses and the business community has gotten to the point, I think, where they're exerting a lot of influence over our politics, uh, while at the same time, they're not doing for America what they once did. Uh, they're outsourcing a lot of jobs and, you know, bringing in people from other countries to do the jobs for cheaper, uh, in some cases, even forcing their American employees to train their foreign replacements. Uh, they're firing people for not accepting, you know, an experimental injection. Uh, they're promoting all sorts of left-wing social issues. You know, as much as I like going to Albertsons and getting their good deals on meat and cheese once in a while, uh, they're the biggest promoter of pride events here in Idaho, uh, the biggest corporate sponsor. Uh, and so we have to ask, you know, are these businesses, do they really have our best interests at heart? Um, I've heard some argue that since they pay a lot in corporate taxes and they employ a lot of people, they, they put food on the tables of a lot of Idahoans, that they should have an outsized say in our government. Uh, but is that really what we want? Do we really want a corporate oligarchy of big companies that are, you know, controlled by these ESG and DEI initiatives? You're, you're, <laughs> you covered a lot and you hit a, you hit a lot of nails on the head there just now. I mean, that was like a nail gun. Uh, I, it, it's incredible to me that when, um, and like you said, I, I mean, I, I, I'm a free market guy. I'm a capitalist. Uh, it, the, 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 the greatest things, the greatest technological, uh, achievements have come out of the free market innovation, you know, where, where companies are, are uh, with low are low regulated that are allowed to explore their uh, innovative research and development of, of of things that just make life better for all of us. I mean, it's what built this country. And when you like you, like you're saying here, when we get to the point where it feels like there's an oligarchy going on, where they're cutting out they're cutting out small businesses. I mean, the entire pandemic was was a a, a gross display of that abuse where. Um, major corporations were allowed, you know, storefronts and stuff, they were allowed to be open. Um, but if you had a small mom and pop shop and you were, you were deemed a, a non-essential and, and told to close. Now that may not have happened across Idaho, um, to the extent that it happened in, in New York or California, but, um, but this, this, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're hitting all this, all this on there. I, we, we could go on for days about that, but I want to make sure that people understand the kind of influence that Iaki brings to these legislators and what kind of bills we see that get championed by that. So can I hold you over for, for one more segment and we can get into to kind of some, some details on, on what it looks like when Iaki gets behind a bill and, and what that means. Sure. Okay, great. All right, folks, we will,